hello everyone uh, welcome to today's tutorial um, today i'll be showing you how to um, use google places api and um, display a list of uh, places um, in the autocomplete component from material ui um, so right now um, all i have here is um, a, a dummy data of movies that you can search and select in the autocomplete uh, component for metro um, but to display us for the um, auto places what we need to do is first step would be to um, add your places api uh, to enable your places api in the google uh, cloud project if you haven't set up your google cloud project yet make sure to go through this link i'll set it um i'll actually put it in the description um just follow these steps where you will be adding a new google cloud project enable the billing but don't worry you will not be charged until you exit your um, quota once you've done that um uh, you will be gen you will you will have now generated your api key um, once you have your api key makes also make sure to put that api key into the restriction list um, which basically means that you want um it to be used by only by your uh, your website so just follow these steps and um once everything is ready uh we'll now um be able to generate uh to actually go back to the code so let me show you here what do i have here so as you can see in the code it, it is just a normal autocomplete um from metric ui at the moment and what i've done is i have um um installed a package a library called use places autocomplete um, this does all the heavy lifting for you um, you don't have to directly handle any of the on chains or or directly connecting to google maps api or anything so this is a very good library and for, for this for you for us to use this um, implement this and see list of the places in our as a drop down in our autocomplete the first thing um, we need to do is once you have your api key make sure to add um, your script to load the script um, the google maps api's script um, in your project um, and also um, put, make sure to put your api key here um, once you have done that then we are now ready to go so to use the library that i just mentioned all you can do is use places of the complete and for now i will only use the bounds of 300 then the next thing i need to grab from the written properties are set value which basically will be used whenever we type into the autocomplete field then the next thing i need from here is uh suggestions suggestions has um three other properties data status and loading and for now we'll just have we'll just need uh, data once we have that um, the next step is to see the um, implement the on input chains so if i write on input chains so what i'll do now here is on input chains from autocomplete of material ui has three parameters event value um, and the 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 second param here value is is actually the new value of the text input so whatever you input there will be available you can access that in the second parameter so let me grab um, the second one and i will name that as new value now what i need to do here is um, pass this new value into the property set value from the use places autocomplete library Get value and I'll pass new value here. Uh, once we have this, uh, let's actually see if we still if we now get the data based on whatever the new value is provided. So let me put the log there. Um, let me put it in console log. So right now we still have the the movies as the default 
options um, but we'll, we'll change that later so right now let me drive sydney and as you can see here um now i have it. since i've locked the data property now i can see it's an array of five different places uh, each of them has their own properties so description mass substrings place id reference structured formatting which has even more other properties um, for now we'll just use the first property called description uh, this is the one that we'll be mostly uh, using for today's um, tutorial so this is good now i can see the data based on whatever the new value that we provided um, all we need to do now is come back to our code and instead of passing this dummy um, you know the, the movies i can pass the data here so once i have that let me see it again so let me try sydney uh, oh yeah i forgot to add this get option level uh, so if i go to so basically what's MUI uh, autocomplete is complaining is that um, since we're now because we need to pass um, an, an, a, a string uh, but now what we're trying to do is we're trying to pass individual an object here instead of a string so this is the reason why it's complaining and to fix this what we need to do is so this is the autocomplete from material ui and if you actually come to the documentation and search for google maps places they do have an example of the exact same thing which we are trying to implement but um, as you see in the code here um, this way we have to handle everything by ourselves loading the script um, getting places predictions um, uh, or some other things um, which is everything this is done by the the library that we are we have used so all you need can focus on is actually implementing and using that in your own um, any library that you can that you want to uh, regarding the the error that we were getting um the uh, get option level if you come here and then copy this and I go here and paste it get option level so get option level what we're saying is um, from that drop down uh, from the data that we're passing which is an array of of um, objects and each object um, what we're trying to check is that if whatever the object we're passing is is an string then it's okay just um, assign that option to the get option level however it is if it's not an option is if sorry if it's not a string um in a, in a, and in our case it's not actually a string right it's a it's an area of, of of a properties um area of places sorry and and each place is an object at the moment so what we need to display here in the drop down is we need to display description so that's why we're saying that if it's a string uh, pass a string but if it's not then um, pass the description from that object um, so basically this option is actually um, an um, an individual um, object here um, for example if you don't want to display or pass description and then if you want to pass something else then you can simply write option dot uh, whatever the thing um, that you want here So um, once we're done with this, let's um, come back to the here and see. Since um, in the get option level, we said that um, if it's not an option, if it's not a string, pass the description of that option. So we should be now seeing every description here from from this array of data. Let me come here and type. Sydney, I got that wrong. So yeah, and now you can see that we are able to display the description of each place object here that we that we uh, got in the data. 
right and this is how you uh, you can display your um you can use that library to display uh, the list of places um, in the autocomplete of Magic UI. However, if you just um, noticed before, if I have even one small typo mistake, um, it didn't um, display in the drop down, right? So if I type here another Y after Sydney, you can see we do have data here in our console log. But then we are not being able to see that in the drop down. Um, so this is something was that was bothering me in Matter UI. Uh, I mean the autocomplete of Matter UI. So to fix this, what we need to do is uh, we need to enable we need to have in, in the filter options. So, So basically we're saying that whatever acts we are passing um return that acts so using this one um now if i type sydney i can see it in the drop down however if i still type another y i can still see it so this is really good because whenever i'm because when people people could make some small typos whenever they are typing right so let's say i could type sit double e one and i should still be able to see that um, matching um list of the places in the drop down so this is how you can actually do it another thing we can do also is um this is more regarding the autocomplete component for matter UI is how we can um style this drop down um so for this one, let's go to the code again. So here, um, I can add another property called on. Uh, sorry, it's not render option. So over here, if I hover over the render option, I can still see what parameters um, we can access. So the first one is the props that will pass it to the list element so whatever the element that we're trying we're gonna create inside it should be it's it's going to be a list element and the second is the option though this is the one that will have each object from the array so let me grab those two for now props and option and i will create a list um and i will pass the props and here what I can do now is I can say again since I want to display the description right if I wanted to display something else instead of description um, for example let's say I don't want to display the description but I want to display uh, the just the main text uh, from the structured from formatting right so we saw it before in the log that each object has structured formatting as well and inside that it has also the main text now i come here and type skip me right so now we get only the main text we do not get the secondary text um as well so this is how you can um style or not style or change the um behavior or the the the, the um the things that you want to display in your render option so um also at the same time let's say you want to display um a, a location icon maybe um you know in, in front of the each option so what i can do here is i can pass the source uh, for now i've already location maze right so i do this and come back to the third like sydney okay i can see it it's good it's just it's getting bigger so let me fix that 
down. Pass with a T. Maybe I'll change this back to description. I don't um, quite having just main text, so I'll just by description. Once I have that, let me go back. See the name. Right. So now you can see you also have your location icon and the description of each place that's being written in the data right so that is quite it this is how you actually implement um the um google places autocomplete in uh, metro ui and by using um, the library called use places com autocomplete all you need to do is just have this line and you should be ready to go so it's very simple it's very easy and i found that this library is very very much helpful for me uh, thanks for watching guys